What is a dream and what is reality? Throughout centuries, man's search for meaning has pushed him to question the nature of his reality. More than 400 years ago, Tang Xianzu, a scholarly Chinese gentleman, set out to explore this idea of illusion and reality. Born on the 24th of September 1550 in Linchuan, a tiny village in China's Jiangxi province, Tang Xianzu's origins were humble, but he had zealous dreams of becoming a civil servant and using his influence to promote good governance. In 1583, at the age of 33, he excelled in the imperial examinations, earning the title of a metropolitan graduate and beginning his promising political career as a government official in the capital city of Nanjing. Tang Xianzu strived for an upright administration but found opposition everywhere he turned. He was surrounded by incompetent and corrupt officials, each seeking to enrich himself and entrench his political power. Tang Xianzu spoke against their blatant corruption while advocating reform, harmony and transparency. Yet, for all of his fervent efforts, he was disgraced, demoted and relocated to an insignificant role in Suichang, Zhejiang. There, he languished in obscurity for many years. Finally, in 1598, discouraged and disillusioned, Tang Xianzu resigned from the government and returned to a life of quiet seclusion in his hometown, Linchuan. As the window of political aspiration closed in his life, another door opened, marking the beginning of his journey as China's greatest playwright. He distilled all of his experiences and frustrations as a civil servant, as well as his aspirations for an ethical governing system into writing and produced his momentous works, The Four Dreams of Lin Chuan, comprising of The Purple Hairpin, The Dream of Han Dan, The Peony Pavilion, and A Dream Under the Southern Bow. This literary masterpiece, A Dream Under the Southern Bow, recounts the story of a disgraced naval officer, Chun Yifen, who, in a drunken reverie, finds himself sequestered into an ant kingdom, where he gains political power and status beyond his wildest dreams. However, his dreams soon begin to unravel, leaving him disgraced and alone yet again, much like Tang Xianzu at the end of his political career. In the foreword of the play, Tang Xianzu described how men appear as no more than a mound of ants scurrying about their business from the vantage point of heaven. His literary device of an ant kingdom alludes to the insignificance and futility of man's endless striving for status and recognition. The rawness and authenticity of Tang Xianzu's narrative, as well as the elegantly evocative language used in the text, resonated deeply with civil servants in the Ming Dynasty. They too faced the same problems Tang Xianzu had encountered. His writing stirred a genuine desire among government officials for reform. As his book gained currency within the official administration, it was soon adopted as Kunqi Opera. This subgenre of Chinese opera derived from a rich tradition of Chinese folk music and, by the 1600s, had evolved to encompass poetic language, music, and precise dance movements that resonated with the masses. Through the popular medium of Kunqi opera, Tang Xianzu's A Dream Under the Southern Bao captured the hearts of people and gained recognition as a Chinese literary classic. Today, Toy Factory Productions, in collaboration with Singapore International Festival of Arts, invites you to join us in our reimagination of Tang Xianzu's A Dream Under the Southern Bao. We take this beloved classic, customarily represented in Kunqi opera, and retell it in the art form of modern theatre. Through this endeavour, we hope to meet the growing interest in Chinese theatre and literature amongst our audience. Unlike Kunqi opera, modern theatre is not bound by strict aesthetics of musicality, gracefulness of movement, and precision of symbolic gestures. We are thus able to delve deeper into Chun Yifen's psyche, while exploring the themes of one's desire for significance in one's existence and the merits of one's dreams. 
In our modern theatre interpretation, we examine all aspects of the mysterious ant kingdom, unpacking the symbolic intricacies of ant movement and behaviour, reimagining the literary artifice of an ant wedding, and deconstructing normative Chinese values represented in Kunqi opera. We seek to bring to you the same visceral and penetrating voice in Tang Xianzu's text, which captivated the popular imagination of his day. In our society that greatly values material success and social status, there is an overriding pressure to perform and achieve. This leaves us little time for contemplation. Yet no one is exempt from the loneliness, disappointments, and setbacks as experienced by Tang Xianzu and that of his protagonist, Chun Yifen. These same struggles and questions reverberate through the centuries and are no less relevant today than they were more than 400 years ago. How can we, as a modern audience, find in Tang Xinzu's story a retelling of our own search for meaning and significance amidst the multitude of false dreams we're constantly told to chase? How do we begin to ponder the unsettling suggestion that life is but a dream? We seek to explore these questions more deeply in our upcoming production and invite you to enter a sanctuary of introspection. Join us in May 2021 for our retelling of Tang Xianzu's beloved story, A Dream Under the Southern Bough.